Greetings, mortals. I am the Fallen Shogun, and welcome to Ancestors Legacy, the multiplayer closed beta. There are three maps available, all four factions. I'm playing the Anglo Saxons, and the enemy, a medium AI, is playing the Germans. So we have base building, we have troop production, and we have villages. So, for those who haven't watched previously, how to make resources in this game, you have to capture villages. Like, if you look at this village here on the map, you have to attack it by burning it and capturing of your troops. And you can get resources from, you see the three things on the map around it? This mark over here is a lumber yard by the looks of it. There's a mine over here, looks like there is a farm over here. So you capture the village, then you send out infantry. Actually don't, you build peasant squads. And the peasant squads go out and do stuff. So you capture your village and get your resources that way. So, in the campaign version I was playing, before this became the multiplayer version, I don't have access to the campaign anymore. We couldn't build the towns and the cities, but now I get to see what they look like. Again, it is a closed beta and early access, but it is subject to change. It is killing my slingers. I'll have to retreat in a second. I don't really want to lose them. Oh my god. You can see you burn it down. Good. But yes. So the thing about the villages or the cities in this game, they are pre-built. Like, there's going to be a house spawning here. You can't place it down, you just click it, and there you go. So everything is already pre-placed. The slots, you just can't see them, but they do in fact exist. Like if I build a well, it will be here. Oh, it'll be there actually, there you go. Like the, um, the barracks will always appear behind it, I think. Stuff like that. So the only way to change how your starting city looks is by changing your starting faction. Each town will always lay out in exactly the same way. You have no control over that. So just be warned over that if you wanted a free form city build. You don't have access to that. Obviously night time has fallen so we can't see too far. We are just re respawning our troops at the end of the squad out as well while we're at it. But yeah, what we need to do is take this village and attack. So there were three maps in the current version, like I've said. Um, a 2v2 map for currently playing. A No, a 1v1 map for currently playing. A 2v2 map and a 3v3 map. The AI is stuck at medium, so I can't tell you if it's hard, I can't tell you if it's um, easy. We have a medium to judge. So that literally depends on how good you are, but yes. I may be trying to get a multiplayer game in of actual humans in the future, but right now of course I'm just trying to get straight into it with a bit of me versus the AI. So there are two villages on either side of this river. For each of us, there's like a river along here. Their camp is over here, I think, and there's two villages up north. So each side has two villages to start off with, and there's a fight for two villages up north, which we will, of course, want so we can build better troops. We're going to be able to build as fast as possible. Like, as I was saying, pre build, I think the next house is here. Yes, it is. The next house will be there. So each house increases the amount of squads you can have. Right now, we have two of three, as you can see. Each house will allow me to increase the amount of squads I can currently have up to the maximum of two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, 10. So I have this. As you can see, we have one iron ore squad, one orchard squad, and a lumber mill squad. That's what we're putting out. As soon as we get the uh, lumber, anyway. There we go. Put them back. So we have access to slingers right now. We don't have a barracks to produce proper troops. But if you get the resources, we can, of course, just build some. Longbowmen, which requirement is longbows. Yeah. You can of course give them better armor, so I really want this lumber mill to be activated, so let's get ready. There we go. So yeah, the entire game is based around controlling the villages so you can get the resources in. So you can't just sit at home, because otherwise the enemy captures all the villages and you lose your external resource supplies. So you have to be constantly mobile and on the, you know, constantly moving. I just give you better armor. I'll be honest, I still like how these guys actually get better armor. Also, if you guys are actually being forced, there's a squad on the attack right now. I think that's uh, early access. Thing, but there you go. These guys now have slightly better armor. Let's have both squads attack this. Get this village. As you saw, daytime happened and my view actually grew. You just saw that on the map. There we go, we're sending out. We'll take this place. We also need more resources, so I will be able to upgrade to the next tier to actually get a barracks. The Anglo-Saxons get to start with the archery range. The Vikings obviously start with the barracks. Stand ready, lads. 
I'm not sure what the Germans start with. There we go. So that armor's actually saving them from a few hits. There we go. In reality, I want to be able to take two northern villages, but if I send my entire army currently up there, I might get attacked across the bridges. So I don't know what the enemy's doing right now. I have no idea. Okay, you two are both going to stay solid to hit that. Take it. Just gives me one lumber yard and one orchard. That's fine. We can do that. This will give us a lumber yard, an orchard, and a mine. Same as with the other one. Okay, now I can put a barracks down. Like I said, I think it's behind over here where that gap is. So you can kind of tell where things are by the actual gaps in the grass. I think it's there. It might be there. But either way, like I say, you have no control of that yourself. That's not a you thing. Like you can't build defensive walls, stuff like that. I mean, I've played games like that before. Like I remember, um, God, Battle for Middle Earth. That was done that way. That was fun. But it depends if you like that kind of game or not. Personally, I don't mind it. Although I do love having actual city scenes where you can build your own defensive walls. But was there? I was exactly right. Perfect. We'll capture this. We'll push over there and we'll have our troops hit their side. Looks like they're not expanding fast. Perfect. Good. Okay, first squad move to here. There we go. Let's have both squads replenish. Okay, that's the armor level 2. Armor level 1. Yeah, okay. Push. I don't care about healing them. Let's advance. Yeah, we now have access to infantry. We'll be able to get some spear guard out soon and some shield, but if we get some more wood. My god. We have no uh, cavalry, I've noticed, as the Anglo Saxons. Interesting. Oh, my sniggers are, of course, pretty bloody useless. So I'd like to get rid of them. Okay, let's get some. Okay, there we go. We've got some shieldmen up and running. That'll give us an actual melee force. That'll be bloody useful. We have to push in across the bridge. So I'm not sure what the enemy is doing right now. Of course, it is medium. And this obviously is a multiplayer beta and not an AI beta. So I have to see what they're going to do. I know right now, of course, I'd like to keep going and pushing. Wood is my main issue right now. There we go. Let's have them all actually reach over here. Actually, let's have them all reach at this one here. We'll have these two squads move back this way. That way I have my entire force hitting their villages. Take the entire map. Make this a very quick episode. Let's move you guys down as well. Where's the bridge? There it is. So I don't know what the enemy's doing. They'll probably charge straight across. But I will make their life difficult. There we go. I'd like to use my spearmen as a, you know, a central force. But I don't know if they have any cavalry. So maybe we should use our swordsmen, our shieldmen as a central force. I'm not too sure. We want something to hold the enemy as our forces hit them from the side, but I don't quite know if I'll be able to do that. Let's arm these guys up. Let's have a look at them. I do like how the actual gear changes. Like these troops now, level one. It's going to change them quite immensely. There you go. Much better. Level two we'll try and get, but yeah, we're pushing up. We have four villages now. We've access to some research. Big guard veterans who looks guerrilla tactics for slingers. Research longbowmen for need some more iron. Dust girls range defense. Let's get some longbowmen. Let's actually cross over. Look at the village. Let's have a look. Can you see me over here? It's okay. Stay in the field, stay in the field, don't get spotted. Oh god, that's okay, we're spotted by the watchtower. Push, 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 push. They spotted us. Actually, we're staying here. We have to actually try to ambush them. 
Oh, there's bloody peasants in the farms. Okay. There we go, we're holding them. Looks like we're assaulting the squads, that's fine. Okay. They gotta try to push the farm, push the farm, push the fields. Okay, we'll take this, regroup at it, take the next one. Looks like we're winning. Let's get this down, the blacksmith. Get the church as well. Get a couple of other houses. So as you can see, my village is slowly growing. Perfect. There's my church. Are they? Oh, we're holding. Regroup. Where is my church? That's my house. The blacksmith is all okay, there's the church. That's where the church goes for these guys, okay. Strike attack increase for everything. Build a siege ballista. Profile range, uh cheaper upkeep. Yes, I'd like to have that. It looks like the enemy isn't actually pushing me too hard, but I fought before on a uh, 2v2 to test it out. And the enemy had some massive amounts of squads fighting in the middle. Like I want to, I can just burn these down rather than just, you know, fight the main central village. But there's no point, the enemy isn't pushing me back too much right now, so that's fine. Oh, there we go, there's a squad over there. Hold them. Go charge. Looks like the basic peasants will take him. Oh, they got a charge attack on these guys. My god. All these guys back. Don't want the spirit to be lost just yet. Just made their armor. There we go. There we go. Burn the village. Burn the village. There we go. Look at that. Okay, let's get a longbowman squad and a shieldman squad out. We can do temporary buffs. There we go. So it looks like the enemy isn't going to push me too hard, but we are going to try and take out their stuff. They have a stable, they might have some form of heavy cavalry. So we'll keep an eye out for that. But I think we basically own the map right now. Oh, I see. You can actually see it slowly going away. Okay. Bombers, ready for battle. Shield men, await for orders. Okay, both of these squads are going out to here. This way. There we go. Infantry. They have their armor upgraded. Perfect. So yeah, we definitely own the entire village. And we own most of the map. There's like a couple of areas we don't yet own. We'll take those soon. Oh, you own this one, okay. Stand ready, lads! As you do there, go out. Just go to collect the wood. Good on you. Healing up. More squads moving in. I think we should be fine. Actually, what I'd like to do is get this squad to level 2 armor and see what it looks like, I'll be honest. Let's do it. So the tier's all the way up to level 3. Get the best open. gear. We're blessed by God. Well, you know, occasionally had to happen. So let's have a look at what level 3 armor looks like. Level 2 armor looks like, and then we'll be okay. So they're currently wearing, like, uh, basic chain mail. With their coat of arms, what do they look like now? Ooh! This way. Looks like heavy chain mail now. Straight over, they're now using a hook. So they've gone from chain hoarbook to a chain mail hoarbook? Maybe the previous one was just leather. It's hard to say. Move, move. Obviously, it looks like chain mail now. It looks a lot heavier than chain mail, it's hard to say. But yeah, we now have level 2. Oh, we're burning the stables. I'm an arrow oh, they're putting it out with the water. Okay. All forces, 
Hit the tower. Let's go. Where are your shields at? I don't know. Go, take up the tower, take up the tower. Seriously, no enemy defense? Oh, here they come. Nope. They're finished trying to put it out. Burn the stable. Oh, here they are. Two. Did they not build a single army? Just two guys? Seriously? But again, it is um, closed beta. They're testing for this kind of thing. Like I said in the tests, the enemy actually had a large amount of troops. I'm not sure why they didn't fight me this time around. But either way, I guess to show you the city building components. There we go. Burn that down. Don't let this carry on going. Come on. There we go. So we're not being attacked by anything. We've wiped out the apps. So the stables is going down too. Oh! They finally built a squad. There they go. We can't see them though. Charge. Oh, here we go. So they did have troops at the rear. Oh, they might actually wipe out my assault force. Interesting. There we go. This is interesting, they actually ambushed me. I'm not putting my troops back, I'll be blunt. They're fighting to the last man. Actually, sorry, pull back, we've got too far away. There we go, pull back. So my squad's even when retreating still got wiped out, that's fine. But there's, there's, a, there's a shield bearer, it's okay. Can you pull back to this area over here? You move over to here. You also move down to here, that's fine. Okay, you're going to be on. There we go, we're pushing back, we're pushing back. There we go. I think... So the enemy got a lucky assault on me there. I was not expecting him to actually still have troops. Let's rearm and regroup. Oh god, they're actually hitting me! Perfect! They're pushing back at that, so yeah. Apparently the enemy only really starts doing things if we wipe out their primary squad. Let's push back in. There we go. George, we take this village. There was a mangonel there. Did he kill that off? Take him. Take him. They're rebuilding the stables. They need to pull back. I'm losing troops over there. They went the wrong way. They're in trouble. They need to pull back. This okay, squad needs to move up over here. Come on. Take this village, take this village. There we go. This squad is to pull back over. So yeah, the enemy is now fighting. In the final couple of minutes, they're actually advancing and fighting. Charge! There we go. We take that, come on. I'm going to be building the tower as well by the looks of it. Take out that group, take out that group. This squad needs to be on. Let's get another squad from the rear, come on. There we go. Oh, okay, that force is now pushing to here, good. Shields up. Take it out, take it out, take it out. Push back in, push back in. There we go. So if we take in this, we need to push in, take out their village. See, like I said, yeah, a couple of weird quirks, but again, that's why there's testing going on. Now I'm assuming I'm allowed to show this. If not, this video will be taken down pretty quickly, but this is the campaign version I was playing before. It upgraded to multiplayer. They gave me permission on that, so I'm assuming there's permission on this too. That's how it works usually. Okay, we have to push back in. The tower is... God, the stable's going. There's a house. That tower's back up. My God. It's rebuilt. There we go. 
Keep it up. Okay. Shields are up, shields are up. Come on. Okay, we're getting there. This this one needs to reheal. This one needs to reheal. There we go. Bare defenses. Yeah, sure. Okay, let's get a uh, stronger attack. Oh, I'm hitting my village up there. Okay. Hit them, hit them now. Hit them now. Okay, this squad's going to hit that. He's still going to hit that. Okay, Tunnel's going to go here. 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 There we go. Celtic tradition looks guerrilla attacks for slingers. Yes, yeah, sure, why not? Come on, take that out. Burn everything down, burn everything down. Burn their village to the ground. They take my village, I will take out their take out their place. Come on. There we go. Burn it all to the ground. Obviously the more we destroy, the less they have. Come on. We don't want them to have anything here. I want them to see the light of their burning village. Okay, let's take out the city. Take out the well, take out the well, burn the well down. We burn down their water supply, they can't water. There we go. So you can see they're trying to rebuild the damaged buildings. There we go, well's down, take out the city. Take out the town hall. So they did try and fight me at the very end, but they didn't have the troops in at the final section. Okay, you two squads are going to move up. Okay, they're going to hit that up there. That's fine. That's fine. They can attack my villages for all I care. We're taking out their city. Let's go level, re level 3 research. And there goes their town hall. Let's finish them off. There's only a couple left, I think. There we go. Burn it all down to the ground. There's another squad up north we have to wipe out, but yeah. Okay. Let's go over here, get your defensive squad. Already research, that's fine. Technology level 3, what we got? Nothing extra here. Really. Huskulls. Uh, do you have any Huskulls? Nope. Okay. Burn everything. This squad's going to go up to here. There we go. I'm going to wipe them out. As you can see, we've, we've taken everything out. They don't have a village anymore. Oh, they have a lot of troops, though. Take this out. They've still got the tower. Oh, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, there's no squads left. There we go. That's two more squads down. They can't replace the squads, but they can replenish them. And they can't put the fires. Okay, go, 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 go. Okay, we're hitting them hard. Come on, need more troops, need more houses. The building limit. Yeah, better rate of fire be nice. Come on. God. No one's done a veterancy thing yet. Okay. Come on.
Okay, you're going to go back to the village. Everyone else is going to go hit their forces. Go, go, go. There we go. We're holding. Devastating charge, high health defense bonus. Good. Well, shoot back. We're holding them. Come on. Battle player. There we go. We just have three squads left. How's this force doing? Where are they? Oh, okay. Put your troops in. Come on. First girls pushing from the rear. Oh, they're doing damage. Come on, Husk Girls, push in. This is the, this is the Berserkers of the uh, Vikings. Okay. Looks like each force is more or less similar. Come on, we need more troops. I'm not retreating from this battle. Our troops are taking fire! Okay, the archers are in, we have more shield bearers. Retreat! Retreat! Okay, that squad is dead, that's fine. There we go, come on! Pull your squad back to here if it survives. This squad get back to here being we form the arm. There we go. They wipe them out in vicious bloody battle. Oh, I think they've rebuilt. I think they've rebuilt. Yeah, they've probably rebuilt. Either way. Either way, we're gonna leave it here, I think. Okay, we'll find out what's going on. Obviously, I'm gonna have to redestroy the village again, but. I've con taken control of the map. They have like maybe a village here and there. It's fine. If I have been the Fallen Shogun, this has been city building and multiplayer of Ancestors Legacy. Enjoy the like, comment, share, and subscribe. You comment to apply like to the account for longer. Of course, and at the end of that battle, I will see you there. Ciao for now, people. Yeah, we need to destroy them. Let's go straight over. Bye bye.